Hey, I'm Timo. All these fragrances got me compliments. Do you hear that? Oh my god, he smells so good. Oh, that? Nice fragrance, bro. Who doesn't love hearing that, right? So, today I will expose every single fragrance that got me a compliment and what's not included are discontinued fragrances like uh, Paco Rabanne's One Million Lucky. I received a compliment but unfortunately it's discontinued here in, in Europe. And uh, secondly, um, when I receive a compliment during a fragrance discussion, no, it doesn't count so that's too easy, right? So um, what about you? What is the wonderful compliment magnet in your opinion? Write it down into the comments and now let's have some fun and let's go! All right, let's rush through this video because I've got plenty of fragrances. The first one is like a surprise because in the fragrance community it's not that super popular but in my opinion it's a very solid fragrance and it works. It's by Yves Saint Laurent, myself, the EDP version. It's a fresh flower fragrance, bergamot in here, that gives you that fresh, kind of harsh citrus vibes, orange blossom and ambroxan. Pretty decent stuff for the office, why not? And it's not that super, super, super overpriced, at least not here in Germany. The next one, I guess you never heard of it because it's a very small and niche brand. <sighs> this was my most worn fragrance in 23 last year by Sora Dora Gladiator. Here are some apples and pineapples, but no Aventus vibes. Um, kind of a white floral base. Yeah, a fresh citrusy fragrance. That is very nice. And I received just one compliment, but whatever. The next one is a compliment magnet in my world. Um, I know a guy that gives a f about fragrances. He came up and he was like, hey man, what, what are you wearing? This stuff is good, man. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's by Dion. Dion Savage Elixir. And also women um, were asking me, man, what are you wearing? Oh, I have to buy this for my boyfriend. Amazing stuff. I guess you all know this stuff right here. If not, <laughs> a huge mistake in my opinion. Good um, sillage. Very good longevity. Um, scent DNA, in my opinion, adorable. Um, that iconic licorice note in here smells like uh, you remixed um, an old school fragrance of the 80s into this day. <sighs> it's woody, it's warm, it's dense, it's spicy, um, just a little bit of sweetness, just a little bit of freshness. Oh man, good. Maybe you are looking for just one fragrance for everything. I mean, literally everything. Please check this out. The next one is a new crush of mine. It's by Le Labo Te Noir 29. Actually, it's the favorite fragrance of Machine Gun Kelly. It's a thick fragrance, fruity thick in here. Also a very dominant black tea note, a musk, and a woody base. You, it's not that super complex, but you can smell the nice quality right away at the first sniff. Good stuff, but expensive, but at least the longevity and sillage is very strong, very strong, like this one. The next one, yeah, pretty easy, but it is what it is. Aventus by Creed, and again, another guy who gives a about fragrances. He was like, man, the stuff you're wearing is great. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's one of my favorite fragrances. So I wear it a lot, but who cares? I like it. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Oh, is this Aventus? Yes, but no, Aventus Cologne. Ah, oh, I love this stuff. The lighter version of the OG. Um, Mandarin in here, very soft and spicy. 
and a lot of musk smells like imagine the um, wolf of your uh, bleh, wolf of wall street um, situation on the yard scene you know with dicaprio it smells like that so like a modern witch guy who's happy check this out <laughs> the next one is my favorite fragrance and it's very rare that a stranger comes up to you and says something good. In Europe, pretty rare, very strange. In the US, every time I am in America, someone says, hey man, nice cap, hey man, great shirt, yeah, nice Papa Road shirt. So I was like, I was in um, Miami, I was wearing a Papa Road shirt, and a guy says, man, yeah, Papa Road rocks, man. And I was like, huh, what? It's very strange here, whatever. Um, so I received a compliment from a stranger. Imagination by Louis Vuitton. Oh, adorable stuff. It's my absolute favorite, but the price, eh, it's not my favorite. Um, Mediterranean citrus notes in here. Oh, it has that softness, the airiness. It's so elegant, but kind of light, it's not that super strong. Mm, tea note in here, ginger. Man. If you are into fresh citrusy fragrances, you have to check it out, but it's very pricey. So the next one is not that super pricey, but not that super cheap by Dior. Dior Arm EDT. It's a fresh woody fragrance and um, it's very modern but also classy it's timeless so um, also james dean could wear it back then and nowadays who's famous right now a justin bieber or so someone like that um could also pick it up nice stuff also for a date why not and the next one <laughs> the price tag Ooh, pretty heavy 450 dollars what Yes, very expensive. Um, it's very under the radar, that fragrance. The brand here, very popular, at least here in Europe. It's by Sergeov, sketchbook, page 33. And how does it smell? Actually, like a niche version of one million. Yes, but a lighter one with better quality, of course. Apple in here, cinnamon, amber, <sighs> adorable stuff, yeah. Nice aroma, pretty good, a compliment magnet, but way too expensive. It is what it is. The next one, again, I received a compliment from a stranger. I was at the supermarket, um, I was wearing that sample to check it out, and he was like, um, <clears throat> excuse me, can you ask me a question? Um, uh, what is that fragrance you're wearing? That's pretty good. <laughs> and I was like, it's by Birkholz, a German brand, by the way. Wild Desires, yeah. A fresh, sweet fragrance, and it reminds me just a little bit um, of Hugo Boss Bottled, um, and a mix of that and of Versace Eros, that youthful, playful freshness, you know? Yeah, but well, it's not a dupe, but it reminds me of that. Mm -hmm. The next one, very polarizing. <laughs> so I received a lot of compliments, yes. But at the same time, I received something like, Timo, what are you wearing, man? It stinks, go away. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. It smells like fish or whatever, go away. I don't care. I do whatever I want. Um, very polarizing, but it's good. It's good, but strong. By Otto Parisi, Mega Mare, and it smells like Aquaman. Oh, he, can, he comes um, out of the water and he smells like the wild, rough sea, you know. Um, you can pick up musk, you can pick up some rusty nails on him. Some metallic stuff, woody stuff, it's pretty strange, right? And it is, but in the air it smells very fantastic. So don't spray it on the tester strip, 
and throw it away. No, use it on your skin. Wait a second and give it a second try also, you know, because you have to wait a little bit. Um, it's not a compliment magnet at the first time. Okay, yeah. So the next one is a more mainstream fragrance uh, for the winter time. Hugo Boss, Hugo Boss bottles. Elixir, yes. Maybe you're looking for not a sweet fragrance, so check this out. Mm, yeah, oriental base. Very kind of dry, raisinous. Very smoky with incense in here. Um, darkness that comes from that um, patchouli note. Cardamom for spiciness. Good stuff for the winter time, yeah. Um, the next one, I used it as a clubbing fragrance and yeah, a buddy uh, came up and was like, man, good stuff you're wearing. <laughs> it was Spice Bomb. Infrared, the EDT version. The EDP, I don't like the EDP version. Um, this one here is way, way better. Uh, sweet, spicy fragrance, apples in here. Tobacco for some spiciness, uh, yeah. Good stuff for clubbing, dating, and almost nobody is wearing that. Good stuff. Okay, our next one is also very under the way duh. Maybe you are looking for a coconutty fragrance? <laughs> Listen up, this could be your heaven. Heaven of coconut. Mm -hmm. I heard that um, Carbonell did this fragrance and you can pick up his signature, at least in my opinion. Uh, Carbonell is a very famous perfumer. Ooh, this stuff is very strong, very potent, very dense. Of course, a lot of um, coconuts in here with a vanilla sweetness and a lot of musk in here. Yeah, caramel. Vanilla sweetness meets um, coconuts. This stuff's good. Also the longevity and sillage. Very under the radar, unfortunately. Um, do you know Mr. Fragrance? Uh, Mr. Jeremy Fragrance? You know him? Okay. Um, this is Sprint. Date. By Fragrance One. And he says, man, um, I have a lot of fragrances that gives you compliments and um, actually it's true. <laughs> this is State by um, Fragrance One, Jamie's brand. And this stuff is very, very, very sweet. Whew. Um, maybe too sweet for a lot of guys out there. But it has that um, kind of dark, spicy undertone. Very interesting, very good but um, way too expensive, but it works. Yes, it works really, so. And it's also um, with a good longevity, good sillage, but way too expensive. I wouldn't pay more than 100 bucks for a bottle, in my opinion, okay? So the next one is by Montal, Infinity. Oriental base uh, that comes with cherries and plum and also oud for the darkness, yeah. Great dark fruit tea fragrance. Yeah, this stuff is good. And the longevity, a fragrance kiss for that. So the next one is um, polarizing for that usage because um, some say, oh, use this just for a winter fragrance. And some say, oh man, it's good for the summertime. In my opinion, nice arounder. It's by Serge of Forty Knox. Yes, it's an aquatic fragrance, but a special one. Why is it so special? Because it has some aquatic notes in the beginning, sure. But then you will pick up that warm, sweet, creaminess. This stuff is very, very easy, but so likable and so luxurious. Smells like a day, hmm, 
maybe in Ibiza or Monaco, in, in, maybe you are somewhere in, in Spain or something, so uh, on your yard and uh, you have a very luxurious sunscreen, so it's not greasy or something like that, so very good stuff. So honey, sweet, warm honey, meet um, that warm, woody, creamy vibe. This stuff's nice, man. And uh, good for date in the summertime? Yeah, you should do it. Why not? The next one is uh, pretty, 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 pretty famous, right? Layton, of course, but not the OG, no. I didn't receive a compliment with Layton, but with, yeah, Layton exclusive. So, very similar um, to the OG, but in here is a dark oud base um, included. Very nice. So, maybe you have uh, Layton, the OG, and you need something else, a twist or something, a, a darker twist. Here it is, but very expensive, but good, yeah. So, just one more thing. This is my last one. I was at the wedding, not my own, but uh, of a friend of mine, and I was wearing that. It was very warm, and he came up and was like, man, what are you wearing? This stuff is good. Yeah, it is. It's by Nishani Voulon Shah. A very fresh fragrance with a good amount of uh, citrus notes like oranges, mandarin, bergamot. Smells like iced tea or something like that, but it's very dense, very refreshing, very chilling, very relaxing, man. This stuff is amazing for a lazy Sunday or something like that in your garden um, or in a park or something like that, and it's very warm and you want longevity and siage. Mm. What a compliment, Polo, in my opinion. So, that's it. What is your favorite fragrance for getting compliments? Write it down into the comments and maybe you want to subscribe to that channel. Please go ahead and do it. Um, okay, do it right now. So it's an underground channel. I need you. <laughs> okay, have a nice day and hope to see you very soon. Your underground fragrance YouTuber, Timo. I see you again.